Now, a very important thing, concept of chronological age, bone age and height age when you evaluate these children. So, let us try to understand why, what these ages are and what is their significance. So, the first thing is chronological age, that is, I will write in short as CA, bone age, also called as skeletal age, BA, and height age, that is HA. So, what is chronological age of the child? The actual age of the child according to date of birth is chronological age, right? So, I am just writing here, chronological age refers to the actual age of the child. What is bone age? I have already defined in one of the other modules, but you can, I will repeat it here. Bone age is the, it, it is an indicator of skeletal maturity. as determined by as determined by x-ray of the bones so what we do is we take x-ray of the bone we look depending upon what age different bones can be used you look at the number of ossification center then you take the help of charts and you calculate the age based upon x-ray it is not the actual age it is the age based upon x-ray of the child. So, that is an indicator of skeletal maturity. And third is your height age. Height age is, first I will write the definition, then I will explain with an example. Height age is the age at which the present height of a child is normally attained in a normal child. Confusing? I know. Let me give an example. You are sitting in an OPD. A child comes to you. Parents say our child is not growing. Okay. He is a six-year-old child. So, you, what is six-year? So, you will, you will take a form and mention chronological age, six-year. That is the actual age of the child, right? Then, you will uh, order an X-ray. X-ray kaha ka karenge? You know that in this child, 1 to 12 year child, it is the hand and wrist X-rays which are important. So, you will get an X-ray of the hand and wrist, both hand and wrist, you will get it done. Once the X-ray comes, you look at the number of ossification centers by using Grulich and Pyle method or uh, Tanner's method, you will find out the age based upon X-ray. Whatever age comes out, that will be bone age. Suppose chronological age is 6 year, right? And bone age comes out to be 5 year. So, you will write bone age 5 year based upon x-ray, right? It is not the actual age, it is the weights based upon x-ray. What is height age? You will take the measurement of that child, actual height, right? Actual height. Now, suppose you have taken actual height and actual height in this child is 100 centimeter, right? Now, 100 centimeter is normally attained in a normal child at what age? You know that it is attained, if you can take the help of a, a growth chart also, 100 centimeter in a normal child is attained at 4 years of age. So, what is the height age of this child? 4 years. What it means is, the it is not the actual age of this child, the age at which height present height is normally attained in a normal child. That is the height age. So, why do, are we calculating these three confusing ages? Because the correlation between them gives us a clue for the underlying diagnosis. The most important among them, which is a first line investigation, is bone age, which gives us a lot of clues. So, what is the interpretation that you need to remember? The first interpretation, I am dividing it into two parts. Any short stature child, in any short stature child, chronological age exceeds bone age or height age or both. Right? Agar sab kuch correlate hoga, if everything is correlating with each other, there will be no short stature. So, in any short stature, chronological age always exceeds either bone age or height age or both. 
second thing whenever bone age exceeds the height age the overall or ultimate height the adult height will be less whenever height age is equal to or more than bone age the ultimate height will be better adult height will be better what is the meaning of this end of the day you have to mug up but try to understand suppose there is a patient this child right the example i gave you 6 year old child chronological age bone age came to be 5 year and height age because of 100 cm height in this child it came out to be 4 years so bone age is exceeding the height age so if bone age exceeds height age it means bones are maturing early as compared to the height of the child if bones are maturing early the epiphyseal growth plate will close early and so the overall height will be less in case height age is more than bone age what will happen the bone age is the skeletal is immature growth plate is still open if you treat the cause later on growth potential is still present and child can catch up for the gap which happened so ultimate height will be better remember bone age more than height age growth plate closes early less adult height height age more than bone age or corresponding to bone age ultimate height will always be better if you treat the underlying cause so they help you in prognostication when you sit in growth clinics or in pediatric endocrinology clinics and third scenario you need to remember about the important parameters in various etiologies of short stature what happens in various forms i am giving the heading to remember this you will have to mug up there is no shortcut here in case of constitutional delay in growth constitutional delay in growth the chronological age exceeds the bone age as well as height age right but bone age and height age are parallel in patients with familial short stature chronological age corresponds to bone age but both of them exceed the height age so short stature chronological age zyada hona chahiye either bone age or height age so both are having short stature right but if i ask you which will have a ultimate adult height better the answer is constitutional delay in growth why because in familial short stature as you can see the bone age is exceeding the height age and so the ultimate height is less for prognosis you only look at correlation between bone and height age you don't talk about chronological age thirdly in endocrinological causes endocrinological causes especially hypothyroidism you will find untreated cases obviously chronological age is more than height age and bone age but height age is sometimes exceeding the bone age very rarely you may find them to be correlating as well so we are putting a star like this so these are the three important correlations that you need to remember can be asked in exam have been asked in exam so you i am putting a big ss here super speciality mcq if i am an examiner you do hope i am not your examiner because i am very fond of putting atypical questions but any uh, examiner of yours he or she will put one of these as super speciality mcq it is the hot topic it is a difficult topic not properly understood at md level at many places so this is the concept of chronological age bone age and height age uh, in this form it has not been explained in most cases but if you understand it well i have gone slow you can rewind this video see again in case you still have problem you are most welcome to ask me on the discussion forums and uh, put mails and ask elaborate about it we have put questions based upon these in the question bank also but get the concept right this is one of the rank decided questions 
difficult questions if it is asked in exam. So, moving from the concept of chronological age, bone age and height age, before we go further, let us try to see if you get a visual upon this, how you are going to solve. 